All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start here on section 3.3 .3 in my Math 1105 class. The first set of directions ask us to draw a parabola whose vertex is given as the ordered pair 2, negative 3, and whose y-intercept is the ordered pair 0, 4. So if I draw a graph grid here, 2, negative 3, 2, negative 3, is here in quadrant 4 and that is my vertex and the y-intercept is 0, 4 we're told that put a dot on 0, 4 okay remember what happens at the vertex it's your turning point and obviously this parabola is going to have to be turning and it opens upward because we're going to go up and we're going to pick up the y-intercept and then of course I will emulate the other half of the graph by symmetry so that's what my graph looks like my vertex is the ordered pair 2 negative 3 my y-intercept is 0 4 remember every parabola has a vertex and every parabola has a y-intercept now this one happens to have x-intercepts as well but not all parabolas do. Okay, the next question says state the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry is the imaginary vertical line that goes through the parabola, uh, rather through the vertex of the parabola. I'm going to dot it in here. And of course that would be the line where the x value is 2. The equation of that line is x equals 2. The axis of symmetry is not the number 2. An axis of symmetry is the equation of the vertical line passing through the vertex. So my answer would be x equals 2. The axis of symmetry is always x equals, and then it's the first coordinate of the vertex. And again, symbolically, what that line does and the reason, of course, it's called the axis of symmetry is on either side of that line, you see symmetry of that parabola. The, it says state the minimum value. Remember, minimum or maximum values of a function are always the y value. The smallest y value here, in other words, the lowest the graph goes, is the y value at the vertex, which would be negative 3. So the minimum value is negative 3 and it says state the maximum this parabola doesn't have a maximum value because it continues moving upward I'm going to say none uh, some of your future instructors may just simply write infinity which also means none um, my preference is just the answer none but infinity is okay. I've seen other instructors accept it. Infinity just means the graph, the y value keeps getting larger, so there is none. For my students, I would prefer the answer none, but I'll take either. All right, so this is the beginning of section 3.3. .3.